Now, the political debate on immigration is never far from the headlines. Just last week, the Prime Minister called on greater restrictions for new EU migrants arriving into the country, and official figures showed a rise in net migration. But how do those living in places with few migrants feel about the issue? Fasma Manji visited Redcar in Cleveland, an area with one of the lowest levels of immigration in the whole country. They are the towns and villages living in the shadow of steel. It was this heavy industry that shaped red car in Cleveland. In the boom times, it brought jobs and holiday makers to the seaside resorts. Many of the jobs are now gone, but so much still remains the same. This is a place that has changed very little over decades. Few migrants live here. In fact, this area has more British-born people living in it than anywhere else in England. Despite this, there are many people who are deeply worried about immigrants. Well, I think it's a gravy train now at the moment, isn't it? Everyone wants I mean, to be over there. Our national health yeah. is suffering. Is there a big problem with immigration in this area? No, I wouldn't no, say. No. no. It's too cold for them. It's these Roma gypsies that are coming. Mm. I think they could be a problem. Yeah, aren't they? So yeah, well, people are frightened. Mm. Why, why are they frightened? Well, they say that they pickpocket and they burgle. And I mean, the Romanian, or these people themselves have said, yeah, that's what they're coming to do. Well, I think we're, having, we're getting too many people coming in, definitely. And I think a lot of the people now who are unemployed start to feel bitter about other people who are coming in and getting jobs. I know that for a fact. Um, and I think there's a fear as well that, you know, say one day England won't be English people here. It'll be all foreigners. So there aren't many immigrants here, but people are still worried about immigration. Why do you think that's still a, that is? Well, you only have to go into Middlesbrough, don't you? Mm -hmm. And you can see how many more now there are than there was a few years ago. So uh, I think that's why they think when the floodgates open with Romanians and Bulgarians, they will come out here. And what, and what is it you worry will happen? There'll be what? more of them than us. <laughs> More of them than us. But just who is us in Red Car in Cleveland? It's 95. One of the few former migrants to the area says he now feels at home, but he has suffered racial abuse. Basically, they call us Pakis. So then I said, I'm not a Paki, so I'm from Sri Lanka. So they, basically what they said, because of the colour, they used this word. Some say the harsh economic climate is hardening people's views towards migrants. Unemployment remains high here, especially among the young. There are 16 job seekers for every vacancy. The majority of racist people, I'd say, are either like, don't have a job and blame, you know, immigrants. In a recent council by-election, UKIP came second, and their local chairman says the expected arrival of Bulgarians and Romanians is a concern. So there's a point that discussed on the doorstep, it'll probably impact less in this area uh, than it will in the south of England, but it will have an impact. We're hearing stories that uh, the local council is boarding houses up that could be let to tenants and will not be letting them until after the 1st of January. It seems a strange date. So, so you think that they could be preparing houses for Bulgarians and Romanians? Well, it's a possibility. It's absolute nonsense. Uh, first, first of all, um, you know, the lettings policy of the local social landlords are very clear and very firm. And, you know, you do not hoard council houses. In fact, we have a housing shortage in the area. We don't have empty houses waiting for a mythical population who are about to move in. You know, the kind of urban myths, I'm afraid, do take root. As it stands currently, there wasn't a Bulgarian or Romanian in sight. In neighbouring Middlesbrough, however, it's a different story. Here, the growing community of Romanians are increasingly frustrated at the way they're being portrayed. So, can I ask you about January 1st? Is it the case that lots of Romanians are getting ready to come here? No, no. 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 Who wants to come here comes already. Romanian people don't do uh, anything wrong here. Maybe some Roman travellers do problems. Everybody thinks Romanian Roman travellers are the same thing. It is but we are not. not right. Yes, just because it's not the truth. 
This group say they know other Romanians who moved to Red Car in Cleveland, but felt isolated and unwelcome. It is striking that a place with so few migrants could produce such strength of feeling about immigration. Addressing this in a backdrop of a depressed economy will be a real political challenge.